Hold your window. Sensei Neil Dunnigan has been teaching the art of karate at his school for over 30 years, an art that has flourished in growth in that time. When I first started teaching in 1981, I think there were 12 schools in the city of Edmonton. Now they, est they estimate there's roughly 250 to 300. Uh, so there's been a phenomenal growth uh, in, the mar in the martial arts over the, that period of time. Uh, my own school, I, I tend to teach um, in a very traditional way, a very traditional Okinawan way. And uh, Okinawa is the birthplace of karate, not Japan, as probably most commonly believed. Well, the basic focus is just on yourself, right? So uh, the first thing we teach students when they come here is don't compare yourself to anybody else in the school because you're not anybody else, you're you. And so you bring, you bring to the study of, of karate yourself, your body, your mind, your spirit. And that's the area of improvement, right? That's what you can improve, those three things. When I was a kid, um, I guess Karate Kid was out and, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so parents took me around to the to some local dojos and they went to a few places and met a few other teachers and then uh, Sensei Dunnigan was just very inviting, very wel welcoming to us, so um, we decided to start here. Uh, I started out when I was six. I think it's a maturity thing. Um, you, you get through it as a kid, you just think you know the moves and stuff like that. Then later on, it's more about perfection, uh, trying to be able to apply some of these moves and, and understand where they come from, what, what kind of movement the body you need, um, strength to, to develop it. And, um, I guess it really helps build your, your confidence and, and strength. Well, I think what brought me back into it is just the atmosphere in here. It was very peaceful. I found it uh, was away from the hectic life out there. You come in here and it was a lot quieter. And everybody was welcoming. Everybody was willing to help you from no matter what rank they were. Come up and give you a hand at everything you had to do. And it was a learning experience. And it, basically it was fun a lot of times and it still is fun. When you're a kid you start off you're in it for fun and you're in it for the games. And um, you don't realize how good it is actually for you physically and how it's... Um, like the balance and you know as a kid you learn so many different things and now as an adult you think about the history of karate and just the things that you don't look at as a kid um, the physical growth is huge strength of character uh, leadership um, really being able to talk to uh, larger groups of people it's helping in kind of business world and stuff for, for meetings and everything um, I guess a self-confidence a knowledge that you can you can do certain things and should be happy with it. Well, I guess, and then strength and, and exercise and stuff really relieves your stress. Sensei Dun Dunnigan stuck to the true art of karate, where it came from Okinawa, and his style has stayed true. And he believes in it, and he keeps it true. And I think that's what it is. I mean, and he passes it on. It's just an honor to work under his tutelage. I mean, you can't ask for a better instructor and the years of training in that and the knowledge and he stays honest and we learn to do it the right way. You just become, you become very aware of, of who you are and where you're, because none of us are perfect. Um, so we seek, we do seek perfection, but we recognize it's an unattainable goal. So that's going to keep me busy for the rest of my life and that's what, that's what we love about it, I think. Jordan Greenlee, Go Edmonton. All right, for the partner.